I told that devil to take you back First and foremost, what is up guys? For the final time this season, I introduce my reaction to Winona Earp season two, episode 12. I hope you dance the season finale. Oh my God, guys, what the freak? I don't even know what to say. Like honestly, my freaking chest is pounding so hard right now. I was tearing up right before I clicked on this. I have no idea why. My emotions are going to be all over the place. Um, secondly, as you guys can see, I'm a dedicated erper. I got, this is the shirt, the contest. I had, well not really, it wasn't really a contest, but I had a vote on Twitter. I was like, which finale shirt should I get? And you guys decided, um, I'm pretty sure, I think you guys decided this one, but, um, I love this shirt. I just love like the color and I just love it. I, I love the overall design of it. Um, amazing. I love this shirt. This shirt, I'll wear it all the time now. I'm never taking it off. <laughs> um, but if you guys want to uh, buy this shirt, I'll put the link in the description. I do not own it. It's from an amazing artist on Redbubble. She doesn't even, she or he does not even know that I'm, you know, she he that she he or they doesn't even know that i'm you know promoting this i'm just saying if you want this shirt i'll put the link below <laughs> all i'm saying um thirdly i know you guys um um did the shout out thing um you guys were expecting it in between commercial breaks scratch that guys we are not having in between commercial breaks but i would not let you guys down i am going to have it at the end as a wrap up mainly um one thing is because like during commercial breaks i'm going to be flipping out because the show is going to be going on and i'm not going to be able to think properly of what i'm actually going to be responding to your amazing opinions comments you had on the season stuff like that uh, meaningful thoughts and I really want to divide my attention to you guys and also um, if everything goes to shit in this episode <laughs> You guys always seem to be there to lift me up, you know brighten my day all that good stuff And I swear to you. I don't know what I'd do without you guys So if all else fails, I will have you guys in the end to brighten me up and we can all cry together and hold each other up I just think that's <laughs> That's what we need. That's what we need. Um, and then lastly, I'm just ready for this. Like, honestly, I have so much shit. I have vanilla wafers over there because basically Nicole's love for Waverly doesn't wafer. That was the dumbest pun. That was so forced. I'm so sorry. You guys had to witness that. Um, uh, what else do we have? We have all... I have freaking ice cream back there, but it's not contained, so that's gonna be gross. But, guys... Today, in a container, I literally have, um, vanilla dip donuts. You wanna know why? Because a certain deputy, um, sheriff, slash sheriff, slash we don't know, um, smells like vanilla dip donuts all the time from a source. Someone once said, some babe once said that. So I divided as true. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys. I even decorated them. But it probably all turned to shit. They smell amazing though. I literally, I don't know if you guys can read that, but it literally says congrats on season two. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Oh God, oh God, oh God. We had a mission. Okay, so this one literally says, this is gonna be a long ass video guys. Just letting you know. This one literally says way hot. You can't see it. It's like around it. Like, you guys think I'm lying. You guys think I just did loops. No, I freaking wrote way hot. This is a way hot donut. So, you know what? Someone's gonna eat a way hot donut. And then this one literally just says W Erp. <laughs> so I couldn't fit. Why no one? It's the thought that counts. Vanilla dip donuts. We all know what it means. I may or may not eat those during the episode. I feel like that would be annoying. And by the way, guys, you wanna know how much I'm dedicated to my own Erp? I literally, because people in my house would have ate these if I didn't t say something, I literally made a sign that says, do not touch for project. And then I, in parentheses, I put treason. 
and then lower in parentheses I put penalty for treason is death I'm dulls <laughs> I'm so prepared for this I have I have it all I have it all just kidding I would really like to dress up as a black widow but I ain't got time for that so I didn't um but yeah guys um okay now after all that said let me recap last episode Last episode is the episode where we had the alternate universe. Um, you know, <sighs> Way Hot Phone Love Again, amazing. Oh my god, they're so gay. I love them. They're they have a they are my heart. Like you guys don't understand. They are a piece of my heart. They're a piece of the puzzle. They're in there always. Um, that was so cute to see. I love that. I love that aspect so much. Um, it kind of sucked uh, Winona wasn't there, but I mean, I feel like they filled her place well, but you could actually see that, you know, Winona was needed to further along the, pro the plot. Ugh. The further along the plot. <laughs> I love Winona. Um, but you know, everybody else is so cool to see him, you know, and like diff play a different character for like an episode, sort of. Um, and it was just amazing to see, you know. Uh, but now, literally, I said it at the la at, at the end of last week's reaction. We are gonna die. Shit is about to go down. Fucking hell's coming. <laughs> Save us all. Save us all. Okay, yeah. But guys, literally, shit was about to go down. Freaking um, Bobo broke the seal, and he's teaming up with the widows, and Cludy's freaking out of the fucking cage or fucking whatever you want to call that crate. I don't know. Um, Oh my god, what are we gonna do? I have no idea. Guys, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Um, but I'm super duper excited for this, um, this, uh, you know, thing. This finale. Um, I'm very sad, but very excited and so thankful that there's a season three, because if there wasn't, I'd be on the floor barely breathing, um, like most of you would imagine. Um, and also, uh, guys, I want to mention, sorry I'm kind of rambling and I'm going on, but this is the last thing, this is the last thing, I swear. Um, did you guys like the intro? I thought that that, I, I just came up with that idea. I thought it was cute. I thought it was, like, a cool thing to do. Um, I, if you guys noticed, I didn't really have the episode one and episode two, because I did episode two, but for some reason it got lost in the files of my computer. <sighs> I'm a computer major, and I don't even know what I'm doing. Just kidding. <laughs> but honestly, it got lost somewhere. I think I might have deleted it, which sucks for me. But I just thought that was a cute compilation to um, go through with that. And I just thought it was cute um, to do. So basically, guys, that's it. Um, I really want to get into this episode. I really don't at the same time. <laughs> but we are going to do it together. Starting. Oh, it's, it's picked up right where it left off. Right where it left off. Or I will. I mean it. Stand down, you sh Shit, strumpets. Shit, strumpets. That is a woman's coat. Ouch. No doing, my little Josie, though. I like the new sass. Me? I won't help you either. You won't hurt her because you're her dad. Shit. Just a, just, just a question. Just a, just a thought. Little girl. Ew, I'm sick. Ew, I'm sick. Just a thought. Little girl. 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 Little Yes, you gotta sing it. Baby. Devil to take you back. I told that devil to take you. Take us back to the beginning. I want to start over. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god, I want to die. Let me die. Don't run into a black hole. You guys can do it. Do not run into a black hole. Yeah, that was the sound of the demon including waking. Oh. Guys, I really buggered this up. Buggered? No more guilt. No more secrets. Damn right. Damn right, baby girl. We are gonna... The sucker's coming out my vagina. Oh. My vagina, Jeremy. Any minute. So... 
Speaking of flesh, anyone mean to be? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, just me. Bye, bye. <laughs> Nicole's face when she said vagina. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm crying because the character development was so good this season. Oh my god. Jeremy, they all look so Oh. It's like they know each other. They met at a bar one time, had a drink, got wrecked. Jeremy, figure out he's. Hey, he's not. I'd feel it in my groin. I can't. Well, I, I can't with Jeremy. I love then him. I'm coming with. I can't. Especially with the two D being like, well, as far as anyone can guess. Now it's oh, it's not. Stop! Right. You guys are smiling, yeah. winking. Goes down. Might as well be married. She got you, Erp. Wait, what happened to Flesh and Her Secrets? Ooh. I feel like I just missed something there. Wynonna Earp? He's suggesting we feed him a baby dipshit. Yes. yes! No, not today. Lil Earp is not getting eaten today. Not on my watch, bitch. I'll come through this screen. Fresh. Straight out of the oven, your wives will provide. That is so sick. Oh, you fucking we baby it. eaters. Despite all of our differences, we fulfilled our purpose. Fuck we it. saved our husband. Baby. Who got fucked in that first? We shall serve him oh, you need nourishment. Let's just feed him the baby. No. What the hell is happening? She's covering him up. Oh, fuck. Mercedes is our queen. Who the fuck is you? Okay, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? So does ours. We get nasty demonic reminders trying to kill us on the regs. Look how fucking good they look! Queens! Forever. No. Delayed? Maybe. And look at the cost. Even that gun isn't enough. How about some stylish dinnerware? Where did you okay. get that? I lost a hand for it. They are mm -hmm. so the big one. Sure welcoming. Version. They brought their own dinnerware. Did you know? yeah. That's what I am now, I suppose. Oh, baby boy! Baby man! I don't want to say baby boy, that's kind of weird. You gotta... Yeah, you gotta run, brother. Though I suppose it was for someone you love. Nicole's married. To a dude? <laughs> no, a gorgeous lady doctor. Gorgeous lady doctor. Well, I have eyes, Waverly. Nicole loves you. Yes, that's very true. Your sister. The DNA test confirmed. Why They're not doing not this here? right now. Like hell, you're not. They're doing this right now. Shit is oh, going down right now. Right. God, Waverly, that is that's such that's such bad timing. <laughs> They're about to go fighting full force into apocalypse, and she's like. I'm not your sister. Well, Nicole has a wife. I'm depressed. I'm so <laughs> depressed. Hi, Nona. I don't think that's chilly. My previous conjunction. Yeah, it's not. Nice. Even a thing. I mean, it might be a little oh, chilly no, bowl, no, but it's a little it's chilly baby. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even met him yet. I'm so that shirt. That. Can't wait to meet the That bottom. shirt. What? That's my code has code killed me. I'm gonna teach it how to rap. There's a slick. Why a slick. A slick. Black batch dissolved. Old mining foothills. I love this gay okay. relationship. Yeah. Hey, you're, you're pretty smart. I know. And, uh, I stay because I don't fit in here. But if none of you ask me to, um, I'm allowed to be me. Oh, I'm that's so sounds... And being part of the family means... Oh. Aww. The terrifying force of the evil. Where is the herb wench? I want my weapon. Why don't you eat mine? Do it. You your shit out of luck. Hardly. I just found me some bait. <laughs> Can we not do this? Can we not put the gays at risk? <gasps> Babies are go laying down. I'm not okay. Sleepy babies. Sleepy babies, wake up. 
The stupid plate was tacky as shit, so I melted it down into one sexy amyloid lace bullet. Let them go, or I punch a hole into your no longer rock. Baby! Baby! No! I'm a bit hurt that I wasn't invited to the party. What the fuck? Also, that you Why? Why, bitch? Stop! I'm so fucked! Why, Nona? Ah! What the fuck is happening? Aim high. I will do my best. Take one out on the way down. It's the hurt! Stop! Stop! Stop. What the fuck? So much bluffing I'm embarrassed for all of you. What the fuck? I'm so fucking concerned. Please, God, do not shoot. I'm gonna die. What the fuck? What if they both hit each other? That was the most epic fucking- I knew that was gonna- That was the most epic fucking thing ever! Ew! What the fuck is that? Fucking marble fucking testicles falling on the ground? What the fuck was that? And I've got to get ready. Why, why don't I ask you to do? Get ready for yeah, what? Don't be too hard on her. Okay, she's really gonna need to after. They're so fucking cute. I'm fucking living. What the fuck is she doing? I'm so confused. Did I miss something? Don't smoke, idiot. I swear to God. It's the only chance we have to keep it safe. That's all that matters. It matters that you didn't ask me. I could have helped. You were helping. I wanted to wait as long as possible to break your heart. Besides, we don't know if you can even leave the Ghost River Triangle. Cross the line. How long have you known? I have your vision class. Oh, I suspect. What the fuck is so happening? Robert's vain as he was. He's your father as me. I honestly don't know anymore. Okay. Yes, it is. Oh my I fucking god. The club. Why? It's still you, Waverly. And if this baby is Eunice's. Uh, 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 for Revenant, then I guess. I guess it won't be able to get out either. What the fuck, bitch? What the fuck, bitch? What the fuck, bitch? About to flip out. Oh my god. It will survive. That's for the mother. You fucking bitch. You fucking trash bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? Rosita, we were fucking rooting for you. Insert that that Tyra Banks scene where it's like, We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you right now. Bitch. Pussy. What the fuck, Rosita? We really go. I'm not going anywhere. Oh fuck. You wouldn't. Oh my god. You can. You're not 27. You're not the heir. You are my sister. I know not Waverly Earp. You're fucking. Yes, Earp. You listen to me. Oh my god, this is so emotional right now. No, no, no. The best of us. And no, no. Just as much a part of me as this baby. Enough of this bullshit. Let me go! You can do this. No, I can't! You have to! Uh, oh, no, you fucking. No, no. Do it. Do it. I hate to see this, but do it. We need your help. We need you to work. We need you to get in the goddamn game. Oh, fuck. For the record, I really liked you. Please, man, go Where the fuck did that go? Good for you. What the fuck happened? Wow, nice gun. Ow. Make up your mind. Where are they? What? No. So she's definitely part red because <laughs> she started sizzling. Oh fuck. Always oh, going all fucking lizard. Oh, <laughs> Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Burn me. No, no, no. Except not, because I'm gay. Oh. Oh. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna cry. You did it. You think everything's okay? God, just look. Pure perfection. The revenants. 
always coming for me. Got everything I love. Oh my god. You can have it much better than me. <coughs> I promise. No! I hate babies crying. No. Stop. There's a getaway car? Wait, what is happening? I know she's taking it away. Having lady bits that have reached a batch. They're doomed. Waverly. Oh. Make sure he gets a moment with the baby. You're all my You're the best of us. Oh. I'm about to break. My heart is ripping right now. Oh my god. That was the most emotional scene all season. Jesus Christ. Cause what if one can cross and the other one can't and I'm gonna cry. Okay, so if the baby starts screaming or I start to burn, get us over the line fast, okay? Okay. I got you waves. Oh. Waves. Please don't burn. Please nothing bad happen. I'm gonna not be okay. Did nothing bad happen? Oh my god! I'm gonna cry! <laughs> the baby stacks. And I don't have revenant blood. Coco lied to me. I have the DNA test. Okay, so I'm not a nerd either. Well, who are you? Nicole, what am I? That's easy. You are extraordinary. Oh my god, no! <laughs> no! No! Oh, my heart. Oh my god, that is so fu- Oh! Who is that? Who is that? Oh my god, they're so fucking cute. There's- oh my god, they're gonna have a baby one day and they're gonna be in love forever. But who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? It's Perry. Oh, it's just Pear Pear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, God. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. As far away from the Ghost River Triangle as she can get. It's a she. I'm living. Well, I mean, of course. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna name her. Name her something. Not welcome, though. Don't name her welcome. <laughs> no. They, yeah, they really need to put a lid on that thing, man. Who's the master? Who? Is that Clutie? God, stop! Look, Mama Earp is still waiting. What? Where's Mama Earp? I'm confused. What is happening? Okay. Okay. Okay, now I'm confused, because it's like... 
This is cute. I don't know who I ship, okay? I don't know if I'm Docker Dolls, I don't know. What is happening? Okay. Okay, I see Waverly. Waverly's fine. Jeremy's fine. Dolls is fine. <gasps> Nicole's fine. <gasps> she got the divorce papers! They're getting divorced. Is that what that is? Oh my god, guys. I'm so concerned right now. Why are you frowning? She's got a ring? Wait a minute. How the fuck does she have a ring? Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. She's evil? I'm shook. She's... She has... She has a fucking ring. She has a fu I told you he was real. I never stopped believing. She has a ring. She's evil. But what is what is Winona doing right now? I'm so confused. What is but he will rise. And when he does. Wait a minute, is that a mom? Is that her mom? You'll believe it too. Fine, you were right. Bolshar's back. Now what do we do about it? Mama. Oh my God. I'm speechless right now. Hold on guys, let me save this really quickly and then I'll be back with the recap and the shout outs part of the video. Okay guys, we are in, right now I'm going to give the shout outs part of the video, you know, a little bit of a, um, it's like a conversation, you know, after the show. Then after this, I will give the recap. This is shout outs and conversation. Um, basically, it's some of the people that's been following me all, um, you know, ever since I began YouTube at the beginning of the summer. Um... I started with this show, and I'm I'm not ending with this show, guys. There will be more, but I'm just the, the, some of these people are just amazing. I mean, I know they're all amazing, but some have followed me throughout my entire journey. But first, first shout out goes to Stephanie Machado. She says she wrote under my YouTube. She says honestly, season two of Wine on Earth was just amazing and meant everything to me. The whole show just shows me that shows me the power that girls have girl power i as a young girl no i noticed that girls are not always the big character they're usually the love interest but the show taught me that i can be the hero too and for and for go and go for what i want i love wine on earth yes guys i so believe that you know i feel the same growing up I'm, uh, so you say you're a young girl, okay, um, I'm 20 years old, and, um, growing up, I didn't have a lot of, um, I didn't have a lot of, you know, female-driven shows to look up to, I mean, there was Charmed, which was amazing, that's one of them, um, but, you know, I noticed also, too, that they were mostly driven by men, um, so I feel like this show is so detrimental to, um, you know, girl power and really you know the next generation of young girls the next generation of girls and women um i feel like it's it's leading it's the leading like f like force like it leads like i feel like shows are gonna look at one on herb and say damn look at w the fucking bomb ass job they're doing we gotta do that too because the girls need it and women need it and it's just amazing to see and i love this show this is my favorite show and that's one of the reasons why so thank you stephanie for the opinion the comment and thank you now moving on to the next one um photo 
photography, photo, photography, photo, sorry, I'm gonna botch some of these names, by the way, um, photography central wrote under, wrote and said, um, okay, so when I when Earp season one and season two, mostly season two has meant a lot to me because I'm only 14, and this may sound crazy, but this show has made me figure out my sexual, sexuality, I have been following Way Hot since the beginning, and the Wave story of, figuring out who she is has helped me so much and of how supportive everyone was to her and has helped me come out as bisexual to people like friends and family and has made me feel much better as a person and Dominique was the first girl that I was really like dang she's hot same <laughs> um but yeah that's why I love this show so much another reason is Emily for making this group of erpers erpers who are so supportive of each other and how this show isn't just about men and how amazing it is that a superhero is pregnant and a woman and still kicking ass thank you for the message thank you for the comment um yes i for like it is so amazing to me to see that like i wish i had a show to look up to when i was younger that you know really helped me you know see my sexual sexuality as much as i'm 20 years old and they have helped me you know they will not help me but they have you know gave me different developments of my sexuality you know made me feel more comfortable um and that is amazing that you've um come out to people that's amazing that they gave you the um support and stuff that you needed i just think that's so great and also the erpers are everything to me erpers and always and will forever have a special place in my heart because they gave me enough confidence to put myself out there on youtube and twitter and stuff like that and without them i would not be here um they you guys lift me up every day. Every day I interact with you guys on Twitter, you lift me up, and it's amazing to see. So thank you for your comment. Yes, a pregnant superhero woman still kicked ass this season, and I just think that it was so um, jaw-dropping and amazing. That was amazing to watch this season. Okay, next shout-out goes to, I hope I don't botch this, a Bori Bug, and she wrote in, she here, um, they wrote in, and they said, I've been watching Wine on Earth since the beginning, and it's helped me through some rough times. Way Hot has survived through near death four times. I know, right? Four times. That isn't something that regular TV shows do. This show means so much to me. Not only do we get amazing representation, but we get an amazing badass leading lady, which isn't something that you see very often. The media perceives not only women, but pregnant women to be helpless, and that isn't what Winona is. She is a badass woman who... To end this curse, she's a badass woman who wants to end this curse for family and for basically the entire world, and I think that is really admi admirable. That is an awesome perspective, and I truly firmly believe that. Um, that is so crazy that they've put, um, you know, the gays in a near-death experience four times. What other show would have did that, and what other show would they have survived? Zero. Zilch. Um, that is so amazing. Um, and yes, about they do perceive pregnant women to be helpless that is not the case we know that is not the case and i ha love how they you know they depict women so real in this show and i think that that really hits close to home and it's just amazing to watch and amazing to see so thank you for your comment moving on um claudia b writes in um i didn't watch season one until it was on netflix which a lot of you guys watched on netflix i went over i've watched it since the beginning and i even went and watched it on netflix it's so amazing um i instantly fell in love with it yes i love way hot but that is not the only reason why i love this show um but it is part of it. I love this show because of the girl power, the fact that Winona never wanted any of this. Then she gets pregnant. She has a hard time being hard time being coming coming to terms with the pregnancy, but she still does her job and kills at it. The fact that this show is mostly women leads, they show their weaknesses, but they also show how strong how strong women are or can be, and I love that. Other shows always portray women to be weak or need to be saved, which is not true. Or even the gay characters, they have to be a certain type of gay character, like one's not to be masculine, the other one's, one's got to be feminine. Um, I love how both of these women are just women and it's not one way or the other. That is a great point. You know, they just show strong ass individual women for what they are. And you know, it's not really about them being one certain character. They have so many layers and sorry. 
computer interruptions. They have so many freaking layers, and I love how they just rip away layer after layer, layer, and we get to see all of that. Amazing, amazing. Thank you for your comment. Moving on, um... Natasha Hernandez says, I've been watching Wine and Earp since the beginning. I love Way Ha, but that's not the only reason I like this show. I love everything about it, and all the cast are amazing. I love the main characters about us women is what they, what I need, is what I need. The comedy, the humor, and all the freaky stuff. Um, yes, I love the fact that, you know, I don't love Wine on Earp. I mean, I love Wine on Earp for Way Hot, but it's not the only reason. There's so many other reasons. It's just an amazing show. I've always wanted to have a show, you know, like the Supernatural that I just fall in love with. Like, I didn't watch Lost Girl when it was actually coming out. I rewatched. I had to watch the whole thing on Netflix, um, which is an amazing show. But this show is just like, I watch it weekly on a weekly basis, keep track of it, um, you know. I keep track of it, it makes it seem like a chore. This is not a chore, this is a freaking luxury, I tell you. Um, but I just love how freaky, how like amazing this show is. There's like I keep saying, there's so many layers to it. Like, you've got the love, you've got the freaky, you've got the supernatural, you've got the badass, you've got so many like it's something for everyone. I love that. They reach a whole wide variety, diversity of crowd, and I just love that. So thank thank you for your comment. Um Oh god, I'm gonna botch this. I'm so sorry. Um, Meika Fernandez Juarez. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, I'm so sorry. I think Wynonna Earp, she says, or he says, whatever. They say, they say, I'm so sorry. I'm botching this so bad. They say, I think Wynonna Earp for making me discover Melanie, Dominique, and Kat. I didn't know them before, and they. Eerie. Eerie. I'm gonna, I'm fucking up. Like, radiate such talent. It's crazy. Season 2 has made us go through all the, all the words in the L Word theme song. You know. I think I've experienced every emotion with this show. It's been an awesome journey, journey. Linz, I love your accent. I didn't know I really had an accent. I mean, I, I kind I noticed because I botch a lot of shit. Like, um, I am from, you know, I'm kind of southern. Um, I'm from West Virginia. It's, there's accents here all the time. Um, so maybe I've inherited that. <laughs> um, I, I don't really notice it, but I guess you guys would notice it. But thank you for your comment. Yes, I swear to God to you. Um, Melanie, Dominique, and Kat are some of the... I know I don't know them personally. I know. I know that. Um, but they are some of the nicest women I've ever seen. Like, they've replied to me. Each of them has replied to me on Twitter. Um, they they just go out of their way for us, and I just think that's amazing. I've never seen that before. Th this cast is the most amazing cast. I fall in love with all of them. I stay in all of them. I love them so much. I just love interacting with them, you know. It's like, it's like we're friends. It's like we're friends. Like, no, 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 no. We're not friends. We're family. It's like we're family, and I just love keeping up with them, you know, seeing how they're doing, you know, and then even them seeing how we're doing and, you know, calming with that. I just think that they're so interactive and that's what I love most about them. Um, so thank you. And the comment about the L Word theme song. Yes, always. <laughs> always. Okay, next one. Um, this is Paige Outrage. I love that. And she says, Winona Earp season two has meant a lot of things to me. It has shown me that not every LGB character has to die. It has shown theme <laughs> teamwork throughout the entire show. It means so much words I cannot explain. So happy they get a season three. This show is amazing. Yes, I feel like I'd be so upset if they didn't have a season three. This show deserves so many seasons. Like, I could honestly watch to the end of time. Um, Emily, keep writing to the end of time. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, and I'm so grateful that they have so strong, like, their LGBT characters are so strong, like, wow. Like, and it's not even, you know, like, usually they'd have where, you know, they'd be, you know, the love interest. Like, they've said this before. But, you know, they're so, they're part of it. I have, they are everything. They make the show amazing. And, you know, it's not always about their, um... It's not about their sexual sexuality. It's just them being there and them being able to be treated as well as everybody else. And I think that is so magnific magnificent. Thank you for commenting. Um, Yo Baby, their name on YouTube, um, 
writes in and says, Why on Earth Season 2 has meant a lot to me because I've never been so in love with the show lately. Like, the story is great, the actors are awesome. Whether they are off screen or on screen, you can still see the chemistry between them. That is what I love the most. Like, you know that they are, that they're not just friends on screen. The friendship that they have is not only to show off, but it is actually real, and I find that so beautiful. Also, I'm really thankful to one another because I found my family, the Erpers, especially the Erpers PH. They mean a lot to me. I confide in them, whether it be about one or Erp, excuse me, or anything under the sun. It's nice to find people that make you feel loved. And she wants me to shout out, they want me to shout out, Erpers PH fam. Shout out to you guys, whoever you are. I can't, I hope I meet you through this video. I want to know how wonderful you are because she thinks you're wonderful and I guarantee you are. Um, and also shout out on Twitter um, at Mrs. Kim Jonji. I'm going to put the links below, but thank you for your comment. Um, next, let's see, we have on Twitter, Laura is writing in and she says, love. And then she says, why not an ERP finale? I loved every damn episode this season. I cannot wait to see what season three brings. Me too, sister. Me too. Oh my gosh. Like, honestly, when I recap, it's going to be insane because everything that happened, whoo, oh my god. What the hell is going to happen? <laughs> I'm panicking. <laughs> um, thank you for your comment. And then finally we have Alex Champit from Twitter. I hope I said that right. Um, it says, <laughs> she says, or they say, WTF for me, please. And then, you know, winky face. I love them so much. But more importantly, shout out to yourself for sharing your reaction every single week. Great job. You know, guys, like, do you guys think... I love doing this. I honestly, I did not know how much I was going to enjoy doing this until I actually put myself out there, which you guys give me the confidence to do. And I love doing this. Guys, one thing I want to say, I will always react to when I'm an ERP. Always. That's a given. Every damn day. I may have started late, like episode two for season two. Um, but I will always one act. One act. <laughs> That's one word. I will always react to when I'm an ERP. That's a given. Forever. Well, not forever. You know, but I will always react to my own herb. I love it so goddamn much. It's my favorite show. I always react to it. So thank you guys for your um, comments and you know your uh, inputs. I loved reading through them. I loved um, conversating like we just did. Um, you know, it. I just love. I love you guys. Like honestly, it has been such a journey this summer to experience this with you guys. I would have been like I th coming into this. I thought I was gonna be you know. You know, you don't really, you don't really know. There can be harsh, there's harsh people in the world, there's kind people in the world. I didn't know which I was going to get. But like Kat and them says, and I'm not Kat, I'm not Dominique, I'm not them. But you guys are so amazing. This fandom is so caring, so kind, and I could not have asked for a more welcome. This summer has been one of the best of my life because of you guys. I love doing this. I will always do this, do this for you guys, so thank you for all your comments, all your mentions, everything you've did. I will link all the um, YouTubes below that I got the um, comments from, unless you specified otherwise, like a Twitter or something, and I will still link them below. So go check them out. Amazing people, amazing erpers. So thank you guys and I will see you in the recap in just a minute. What is up guys? This is the season finale season 2 finale recap season 2 episode 12 I hope you dance. This is the recap guys. Um, I just did the discussion part amazing. Love you guys Um, But oh my god, there's so much shit the process. Let me try to go back and review in my brain um, so the baby came, and oh my god, it was so fucking adorable. That, that alone, just the sight of the baby made me cry. Like, honestly, I cannot handle babies. They are so adorable and so innocent, and I just love them. Um, I hate babies crying, though. It's like one of my things. I hate babies crying. It makes me cry every time. Um, so <laughs> that's triggered. Um, let's see... So we found out that Waverly is, um, so if she's not, a, she walked, she and the baby walked across the line. Turns out they, the baby did not fry and she did not fry. So I don't know what Ra Waverly is right now. We have honestly no idea. So Doc got to hold the baby. Winona got, every, like, Winona got to hold the baby. Waverly got to hold the baby. Um, Rosita turned bad and she shot Rosita, but she kind of ran off. So I don't know if she actually died. Um, Jeremy was there. Jeremy was amazing. Every, everybody in this episode was amazing. Um, 
I'm just trying to process it all. Way Hot was amazing, as always. But guys, you do not understand. The last five minutes had me, like, killed me. They are moving so fast into season three. Literally, I want to understand something. Why did Nicole have... Comment below. Please comment below and tell me your theories and shit below. Because I'm so confused. I may have missed it because I was talking over it. But why did Nicole have... Um, what is it? What are they calling him? Bull shark? Bull shark? Whatever they're calling him. Why does she have his ring? Is she bad? Are they making her bad? Is that her storyline? Because I still want her to be with Waverly. And the divorce papers. She had divorce papers, guys. Holy shit. Um, so that's good. But is she bad? Is he turning her bad? I kind of love it and I kind of hate it. I don't know really what to feel. Um, what else, guys? And then freaking Winona met her mother. How the fuck is that going to play into this in season three? I cannot wait for that. Guys, we have to wait a whole year for that good shit. Oh, my God. I have to wait a whole year for my favorite show, guys. I, I completely feel you. And you feel me. We are... We'll hold each other up. I, with all the amazing edits and such and theories and fanfic. Guys, fill the fanfic. Please, God. I cannot stay away from Way Hot and everything for a whole year. We gotta create something, guys. Come on. Um, so, please, thank you, guys. Um, that's basically all I have to say. Um, I just want to say one last time, reiterate it. Um, thank you, guys, for welcoming me. Welcoming. Um, welcoming. I can't speak. Welcoming me into this lovely family that I've known now, the Erper family. Um, thank you for making my YouTube, um, summer YouTube experience so great. My first time ever doing, um, you know, reaction YouTube. I did not know how it was going to go. I was honestly nervous for it, but you guys gave me confidence to do it, and I had a lot of people helping me. Um, my friends from the fandom and such helping me along the way. Um, and just you guys in general. You guys are my family. Um, and this has made it the best summer for me, honestly. I love to hear you guys. I love you guys so much. I cannot wait. I mean, I cannot wait for season three, but I know you guys are going to, we're going to be there this, uh, this off season. I'm going to call it off season. Um, this, uh, hiatus. That's what it's called. Um, <laughs> we're going to be there for each other this hiatus. I will always be there for you guys. My DMs are always open. Um, I may, but guys, I know that most of my fan base watches this, so I want to say this right now. Guys, I'm going back to university this Monday, um, so I will be a little bit, you know, I'm getting back into university, so I will be a little bit shaky on my replies on, um, social media for a little bit, um, and such on YouTube. I'll be a little shaky, but you guys, please, you guys, if you're watching right now, drop below what, if you guys want me to react to anything this fall. Um, I'm thinking American Horror Story. Please drop below what you guys want me to react to. I got We got a little bit more of the bold type, and um, then that's it. So if you want me to react to anything, drop it below this fall. Let me know some good shows, because I honestly have no idea. I know American Horror Story, but that's about it. Um, maybe good LGBT rep. L LGBT plus represent representation shows. Guys, this show fucked me up. I can't speak. Um, but thank you guys so much for making this experience so good for me. I love you guys until the end. Um, I love... Thank you, cast and crew. Um, all the actors, actors and actresses. I love you guys so much. I'll be following you on social media, you know. And I'll be contacting you all the time. Um, and P Erper family, I'll be contacting you all the time. I'll always be there for you guys. I'm just letting you know that I might be a little lax right now because of my um, university is coming back up. So give me some time, guys. Please do not get mad at me. I'm coming back with content this fall. I promise you that. So until next time, guys, I love you guys. Um, keep it classy. Keep it Erpy. And just stay amazing, guys. See you next time. Peace in your violence, can't show me there's no one